Hey yo, what's up everyone? We're here. I'm playing vanilla Terraria. I know it's weird. Well, I'm playing no mods installed Terraria. It's not like a completely vanilla thing, but you know, I don't have any mods installed, which is a weird thing. I know, but you know, I just we just got to talk about what's been popping off with Terraria. And when I say what's been popping off, I mean what's been popping off with me and Terraria. Because if you didn't see that tweet I sent out recently, you know, I said that like it's destiny that I don't record any more Terraria content. I'm not saying that I'm not going to try, but like every time I've been trying to record Terraria content recently, there's always something that goes wrong. It's either like I don't feel like recording it anymore or there's some technical difficulties and i play with mods all the time technical difficulties they either come up or they never come up and they usually never come up but uh you know as of recently this has been happening a lot maybe i should do another like fresh reinstall of my terraria but yeah we're here playing vanilla because i feel like i have a damaged connection with terraria now i should also mention right here that we're comparing the start of vanilla terraria versus the start of modded terraria and the idea didn't come to me until later on recording this video so i'm just gonna put in this audio clip right here to tell you i feel like I burned myself out with Terraria and you know I, I feel lucky enough that a lot of people took interest into my RL craft series and just Minecraft in general and I got a lot of a lot more coming with that but uh, you know I gotta give my Terraria people some love I gotta give all some love so I'm here playing vanilla Terraria which I am a pro at and believe it or not a lot of people always request me to play vanilla Terraria and it's like I've done it so many times on camera off camera it's just like kinda, you kind of get tired of it you know just like how I've gotten tired with Terraria in general modded or not but uh I feel like this this is the thing i f i feel like is happening with a couple of other terraria content creators like maybe on the outside you know they're still posting videos doing their thing but on the inside i know that some of them feel the same way you know a damaged connection with the game not feeling as you know as great as it was before which happens with a lot of people when they play games a lot of time especially the same game and you know 1.4 i feel like i could speak for a majority of terraria content creators i feel like 1.4 was gonna you know connect everyone back into terraria i'm talking about everybody was gonna be hyped to play it i mean it's a big final update who would not be hyped to play it we're talking about we're getting current players playing the game even more and they're probably grabbing a bunch of old school players you know ones that left the game behind because they beat it a couple times and it was gonna be a nice nice event for all of the terraria community but relax logic hit us with that coming 2020 and i have no problem with the game being delayed a game being delayed is good most of the time because that means you know all the buffs and everything's are getting fixed out and all the greatest content possible is coming out most of the time there's pretty bad games that get that get delayed and then they're even worse after they get delayed who knows why but i feel like relogic should have never gave us a 2019 release date because if they say like I, I can understand if it comes out january 2020 or yeah if 1.4 comes out january 2020 that's perfectly fine that they delayed it but if 1.4 comes out like March or like April, May, that area. They should have never said 2019. They got my hopes up high, man. They announced it. What? When was that they announced it? I don't even remember. It was like July or something. Somewhere around there is around E3. I got hype. 2019 release date. And then they pushed it back because they said, you know, they can. They didn't have everything that they want to put in and they didn't want to cut anything out. So hopefully it comes out early 2020. I'm talking about January because if not, I feel like they never should give us a 2019 release date if they knew they weren't going to make the time but uh you know you know how it is you know how it is you know it happens i feel like 2019 has been like the year of delays like a lot of games i've been hyped for are getting delayed but yeah we're here playing vanilla will this be a full series who the hell knows we're gonna mess around i'm gonna do things people never do in vanilla the goal is to get some head in terraria this is the uh, whole entire early game though of terraria vanilla terraria is just mining ores i mean i guess you could fish them too but your fishing is gonna be so low early game that like it's not even gonna matter unless it's like rains or something but uh you know there's, there's a lot of reasons why I, oh god I, I can't see there's a lot of reasons why i play modded terraria because i feel like i've straight up just done did everything in vanilla terraria already like when i was talking about doing things people never do in terraria you know i did a fishing playthrough i feel like i was like the original person that did a fishing playthrough and i did it during what 1.24 i think when like uh duke duke fish Run first came out and i did it around then and i did a lot of things that you never see people do in terraria because that was like my goal because obviously you can't really do uh, a strict fishing playthrough in vanilla other than you know use a handful of weapons that are ass cheeks but uh you know i did that and i would get weapons like the slap hand uh, i think i made obsidian armor in that playthrough you know, just things people never do in terraria we might do that here too if this is a full playthrough who knows i'm so tired of mining already how many people have you seen ever make a full 10 armor set at the beginning of the game that's the real 
Oh, I don't have enough? Oh, I guess I spoke too soon about that, but we can make an iron pickaxe superior. That's how I like them. That's how I like them. Now, I usually keep this and sell this in vanilla. Actually, I do it in modest sometimes. Too. I usually keep my tools and then sell them. Uh, I don't think they get you that much money. So, like, I don't know how badly I want to do that. Oh, there's no Omni Swing. Yo, I might have to enable Omni Swing low key. <laughs> Look at There's no Omni Swing, so I got to click every time. Ah! <laughs> You know, it'd be nice in a vanilla Terraria playthrough. A good ice chest. Preferably snowball cannon would be amazing. P please. Hopefully nothing can get through here. Let's let's be safe though. You know, let's do a little, little strat here so I don't have to use a torch. Take the chandelier, place it. Boom, we got a free light source. All right. Ooh, that's probably one of the most boring things we can get. As good as they are, pretty damn boring. <laughs> See, this is what we like to see. This is another ice chest next to an ice chest. Okay. All right, come on. Snowball cannon. Mm, boomerang come on over here man oh whoa, don't hit me don't hit me what what is the range on that i just crafted a golden pickaxe and it's legendary first we had superior and now legendary all right look at this we have found that what is that oh it's another chest i don't know why i said that can we make this jump okay we can make that jump we didn't take any damage you know i think i had an idea hit me i think i had an idea you know i just need to sit down and play terraria and the ideas would flow through the idea is you know i'm playing the beginning of vanilla terraria here and maybe we'll go until we fight like king slime or the eye and then maybe for the second half of this video i do the beginning of terraria with mods like heavily modded terraria i think that's a cool idea hey this is a cool weapon what the heck but i should watch all of it though because it's always nice watching oh my god what are the odds that we get an arcalis from this what are the odds now in that uh, arcalis video i did you know it seems that everybody in the comments in the first five minutes of their first world they found an arcalis i think people are getting the arcalis mixed up with the enchanted sword because people also told me that pewdiepie found it on his first shrine but i think he found an enchanted sword if i remember correctly i don't know i didn't watch all the episodes but i do remember watching the episode where he broke a shrine and he got an enchanted sword but yeah let's pop this open if it's an arcalis this is the greatest vanilla run and maybe i'll finish the whole entire playthrough oh <laughs> holy shit i didn't get this off of a schmoo it's funny how i found an arcalis but you know in every damn chest i open it's an extractinator just look at the beauty of what is called the arcalis this thing is deadly like i'm about to get in here look at this how did i live from that like how is that even possible that i'm living from this and killing everything I'm like an hour into the game. Look at the armor. My armor is not even matching. But I'm over here doing one versus tens against ant lines. All right, I'm here in the corruption. We're crafting the slime crown. I'm gonna try and find some heart crystals. Oh god, I'm gonna try and find some heart crystals before I fully fight the king slime, just to make sure that we survive it. And uh, after that, we'll see how it's like doing the beginning of modded Terraria, which I'm assuming might be a lot faster because we are gonna fight an easier boss in the Grand Thunderbird from the Thorium mod. We have, I, I think I have like 40 mods in the mod pack we're gonna use for that. So uh, that should like, you know, up the experience, the beginning experience a lot. This is what we've all been waiting for. It's time to fight the king slime in vanilla. Let us fight the king slime. <laughs> and end our vanilla journey here where you spawning at there you are all right so we're gonna use the uh what is this the rope strat just to guarantee a kill here no i'm not trying to do anything too crazy let's just use our throwing knives so the worst part about vanilla terraria is i don't know if you can hear me but i am clicking manually how am i missing it's touching you but it's not hitting you yeah i have to click manually just to throw weapons that that's terrible <laughs> Why is that a thing in vanilla Terraria? That's like 100%. No one would want to play a throwing playthrough if this is what you have to do. Then maybe we can get a little bit more ballsy. Okay, I guess we're down here now. No, better angle to throw grenades at him. And uh, if he if he wants to... Oh, damn, that grenade has zero velocity. If he really wants to fight, I could whip out the Arcalis and we can, we can throw some once. This is the most annoying thing ever having to click. Is my game just like bugged and it's making me click every time I have to, I throw a throwing weapon or what? Do people actually go through this when they play vanilla Terraria? Like why? <laughs> I've clicked over like 300 times. I mean, I probably do that on like a daily basis, but like I'm making myself just to throw knives. Oh, we're out of knives. All right, let's get them to a nice 100 health and then we'll go in with the Arcalis as the finisher. All right, it's time. It's Arcalis time, and there he goes. Bye bye, King Slime. 
What do we get from the treasure bag? Probably nothing useful. I get to squirt slime on people. Mmm, what a delicious combo of words put together. On to modded terraria. Here we are, modded terraria world. Ooh, what is this? Look at this, we already got some cool stuff at the start here. Yeah, as you can see, you know, when you're starting a mod character, a lot of mods like to give you some things that you can look at here. Empty core, flower collar, and loving memory of Stormy. Good old Stormy. Okay, what a what a cute doggo. Yeah, we start with a couple more things and uh, killing some enemies. We also get some more things. Is this a pet? I thought the I thought the bunny was a separate pet from the uh, from all the other types of pets. Look, at, I got a tier one loot bag too. What, what's in the tier one loot bag? Enchanted sword. We just started the playthrough. We already got an enchanted sword. But look at this. We have a mod in here that generates uh, natural structures, which is a great mod. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's let's pop these crates open because these are straight up wooden crates with loot in them. And look at that. This is already a good start. Like I said, the start to modded might be a lot faster than the start to vanilla. And that's only because you know there's a lot stronger weapons well, there's a lot of, a lot more enemies also in the way too but there's a lot of benefits from playing modded terraria and that's why i enjoy it more because i feel like there's a way more different start you can have in this and uh, vanilla terraria and also peep this you ready for this you can do something like this Oh, look at that. Vein miner. What a beautiful thing. What's in here? Anything special? Probably not. I was hoping a chest or something, but uh, it doesn't look like there's much in here. It's still cool, though. It's still cool. I believe this mod that summons in all these natural structures is called uh, World Bits. Something like that. It's made by the dude who made the spear mod and the weather mod. Ooh, calm down there. Where was that at? I can't even see it. So, yeah, I recommend check it out. Cool mod. Furniture food fun. What a good combo. You know, when I'm sitting on my furniture, I like to eat food and have fun. That's just balance. This sounds like a regular combo. That wasn't even a joke. What did I just kill? <laughs> Bright bulb. That had to be a critter, right? Material. Oh, yeah, it is a critter. Okay. You know, one thing we can do here that we couldn't do in vanilla is check out recipes. We can make a luminous lantern. Equipable. Provides bright light. Works in vanity slot. Nice. Looks a street lamp, too. See, some of these mods I, I've never played with before, so this is, this is very nice. Seeing some new things. I can't break that. I need a hammer. I can make one very, very easily, so let's do it. You never know what kind of goodies you can get. I think a, a panic necklace, whatever it's called, would be pretty damn good. So let's see. Oh, of course. Give me the damage wooden hammer. It's all good. It doesn't matter. We will take what we can get. Ooh, okay. We got an undertaker. Nice. So that means I could I could put some caps in some people. Cryo wet? What was that that I just picked up? Wait, why why would I even use that when I have this? <laughs> I have like a ten times better weapon. This is so nice playing early or playing uh early game tutorial. I'm not having to worry about combat or anything. What a what a beautiful thing. All right, what's in this chest? Oh, look at that. We got the ice blade. That's pretty much the same exact thing we got in the other world. Now, if we get our hands on a boomerang, I'm going to be pissed off, but that's also going to be the same exact loot that we got from the other world. When's if we find an Arcalis? Yo, if we find an Arcalis, I will do a full Terraria playthrough. I don't know what it'll be. Maybe I'll do back to back. When's if I do a modded and a vanilla playthrough? <laughs> at the same time in the same video just like this video well we'll see that's only if i get an arcalis i'm not gonna actively search for one either oh yeah we got a chest down here but first we gotta take out this uh, spider swarmer queen what <laughs> a queen what the heck i don't know if i mess with that let's get her out of here oh she hatched the spider okay we killed it though before we touched it get this dude out of here come on you should know better i got an enchanted sword early game get out of here what's in here we got a boomerang what are the odds that we got the same two exact items from ice chests in the last world in this world all right i wasn't recording it but uh i died before i could loot this chest uh oh we got a mini boss alert mini boss alert who would have thought we'd see a mini boss this early i did because this always happens in modern terraria but boom bada bing mini boss has been killed and then we got a bunch of pinkies to deal with Luckily for us, we have a tremendous early game weapon here, and uh, this should be no problem. This should be no problem at all for us, and there we go. All the pinkies are dead. Let me just deposit everything in there and pick all these goodies up, which we can then turn in to this guy right here. Boom. And he gives us a gooey glove, which is a great early game throwing weapon. Look at this. Such a great start to modded Terraria. I also have this tier one loot bag right here. Let's pop this baby open, and it gave me warding shoe spikes. I do have shoe spikes already, but the warding on them. That's a beautiful thing to have. So I've been, you know, down here in the caves farming for some goodies and we're doing pretty good on everything. And, oh, and take a look here. We have a lost girl. I know your evil ways. I know that you're an evil bitch. Evil naked bitch. Look at her. She killing herself. She knows the error of her ways. What the heck? Get the hell out of here. Boom. Give me that. 
can't wait to use this metal detector so i have a mod in here that when you reforge stuff it gives you warding automatically and uh i don't know why the mod i don't even agree with this even though nah fuck with just warding only but i don't agree with the mod making everything even drops warding so because i was wondering when we got the shoe spikes i was like warding damn this this must be pretty rare but everything has warding <laughs> So maybe uh, that mod, when I put up the mod list, I'll take that mod out. But I think we're ready to fight the Grand Thunderbird. I think I have everything. I might need a couple more talons, which is what you use to fight the Grand Thunderbird. But uh, let's head back up to the surface and uh, let me let me get working on some stuff. Am I going to die? All right, now that the weather conditions are amicable, is that is that the right word? I don't know. I've been waiting for the weather to be right. I waited like 10, however long a Turia day is, day and night is. But here we are, we're ready to fight the Grand Thunderbird. I don't think this is gonna be a tough fight at all. It's the Grand Thunderbird. It usually isn't a tough fight, but you never know. You never know. When's the Grand Thunderbird is like, all right, I'm tired of you. I'm gonna beat your ass. Then what am I supposed to do then? I am playing with the latest uh, Thorium update, which I have not played with like really that much in general and i knew it was a pretty decent size update that came out recently for thorium but i don't think i don't i actually don't know i don't know if anything came out for the grand thunderbird like any updates or anything but uh we'll see here i am noticing one thing oh i'm gonna get hit by that when the grand thunderbird does its uh charge attack there's like a little like sword symbol on top of it and i'm assuming what that is is if we do enough damage or hit it at the right moment we stagger it that's what i'm assuming um because i have staggered it in other challenges videos or whatever you want to say and uh you know i didn't know you could do that until recently but yeah this this boss fight in particular it's fairly easy you know it's before king slime before the eye cthulhu i believe i don't know about the spear mod if it's before scarabus Ooh, got hit again all good but this one is one of the easier bosses it's not too hard not too easy you know it still has some attacks that you got to dodge like that attack right there that attack does a lot of damage everything else though that's more than doable to dodge plus you know it constantly summons in uh summons just in general and those summons drop you a decent amount of health let's let's use the undertaker this thing's got some really quick shots really good velocity in the shots and then you know if we get swarmed we switch to this try and take everything out i think after we beat this boss i will attempt to find the shrines in the world which i think there's only what one shrine maybe two in small worlds i don't remember it's been a while oh there we go we stunned him oh my god or stunned her took a lot of damage from that took a lot of damage from, i think if we make a melee hit while she's dashing or while it's dashing whatever then we might be able to stun it as we saw right there but there you go there is the difference between the start of vanilla terraria and the start of modded terraria modded terraria felt a lot faster to get to where we are are right now and uh now let's try and find the arcalis if not then it wasn't destiny all right i have revealed the map here and I have a mod in here that actually adds in the corruption and the crimson in the same world don't know if that's safe but i have the only shrine on this map revealed i don't know if this is a smaller medium world i think it's a small world so let's see let's see if this is meant to be i don't know what half these structures are there's some cool looking structures though does that say platinum there's like clouds of platinum up there yeah let's do it we're gonna go down right here and see if you know it's just destiny that we get in our callus in this world in this modded world and in a vanilla world okay here we go i'm zoomed in all the way so we can't even see if it's uh, enchanted trying or not come on come on oh that's just that's just upsetting i mean we still get something from it we get this which is like a like a fake arcalis but oh well you know old nail pretty sure that's from uh the one game with the the bug the hell's the name of the game hollow knight but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and uh we'll see what comes about you know about these playthroughs we'll, we'll see we'll see but make sure to follow my twitch follow my twitter join my discord and check out my second youtube channel where i post full live streams i will see y'all next time thank you for watching bye bye